Hello and welcome back, as always my name is Lazar and today we're talking about Garrosh Hellscream, the former war chief of the Horde. He's been announced I think 4 or 5 days ago and now we got full abilities, full talents, cooldowns, mana cost, the works for the most part. We also got a bit of gameplay in the form of his spotlight so head on over to Blizzard's official channel if you haven't already to check out a small bit of gameplay. Today we're gonna focus more on his talents. So first of all he is a warrior starting with a straight armor up. Garrosh gains one armor every 2% of maximum health missing, so the lower his health, the harder he will be to kill. What you should take away from this is the fact that this is general armor, so it will mitigate physical attack damage, that is AA or basic attack damage, and ability damage as well. And if he's like, I don't know, 10% health, that means 90% is gone, that means he has 45 armor. If he's 50% health, then he's gonna have around 24 armor. So the lower he is in health, the harder he will be to kill. Let's move on into basic abilities. First one, Q Groundbreaker. Deal damage to enemies in an area, heroes hit on the outer edge are pulled towards Garrosh. It works kinda how Hercules' Q works in Smite if you guys played that, so again it will pull enemies towards Garrosh, but at the very end of the skill shot it's a very small uh, telemark for that one, so I'm not thinking it's gonna be too easy to land that particular pullback. As for the damage it deals, judging strictly by the actual uh, spotlight it seems like very little to nothing. Blood First W deals damage to an enemy and heal for 10% of Garrosh's missing health. Again, missing health. Healing is increased by 100% against heroes and this one has a 12 second cooldown. So this is where he gets his sustain. Now keep in mind this is 10% of Garrosh's missing health. So for example, if he's missing 50% HP, it's gonna be 10% of that 50%. Okay, so in theory it will be 5% of Garrosh's missing health pool. Okay, and in case you hit a hero it's gonna be 10% because that doubles. Let's move on to Wrecking Ball E, throwing a nearby enemy hero minion or mercenary to a target location, dealing damage to enemies near the impact and slowing them by 30% for 2.5 seconds. It's got a 16 second cooldown, so a pretty hefty cooldown on this one. So you can throw anything, a hero, a minion or a mercenary. Um, I don't think you can throw bosses, <laughs> that, that would be interesting to see, but I don't think you can throw bosses, uh, so it will deal a bit of damage, it seems like very little, uh, again judging by the spotlight, and it will slow enemies by 30% for 2.5 seconds, decent slow on this one. What is more important from uh, Wrecking Ball is the fact that it's to target location, you can throw them whatever the hell you want, and judging by the range it had on the spotlight, these, this seems like a real troll ability and I cannot wait to try it. Anyway, let's move on into heroic abilities, first one is Warlord's Challenge, silence nearby heroes and force them to attack Garrosh for 1.5 seconds and it has a 50 second cooldown. Now, you know what Varian does, right? He taunts, this is what Garrosh does, only Garrosh does it AOE, yeah. Very interesting, I don't know about the silence part, when you're taunted by Varian, as far as I know you can't cast anything anyway, so this goes without saying, or maybe I'm wrong on this one, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, Garrosh is a tank and he acts like a tank, you're gonna be able to do an AOE taunt. Now this seems very very fucking dangerous, it's painful enough when Varian does it on one target. Can you imagine AOE on that shit, insta wombo combos, awesome. And they're silenced too, so what, what are they gonna do about it? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, continue with the second heroic ability, this one is called Decimate. Deal damage to nearby enemies and slow them by 30% for 1.5 seconds, deals 100% more damage to heroes and each hero hit reduces the cooldown by 1 second, stores up to free charges and the uh, cooldown is only 8 seconds so you're gonna be able to treat this one like a basic ability and the way it looks it's gonna be pretty spammable, this is a more offensive option if you want a bit of more damage. I hope, I really hope we can build them into full damage as well as full tank. Anyway, I love both of the heroic abilities, obviously Warlord's Challenge probably is gonna be the way to go for competitive, I'm just assuming at this point of course, and this will be the damage option. Level 1 talent, Waterbreaker. Waterbreaker. This is a quest talent, pull heroes with Groundbreaker. After pulling 5 heroes, Groundbreaker deals an additional 150 damage over 3 seconds to heroes, so it's a damage over time effect. After pulling 15 heroes, reduces Groundbreaker's cool cooldown by 3 seconds, so the normal cooldown for Groundbreaker was 8 seconds, so it wasn't a big cooldown to begin with, and now if we complete this uh, quest right here, we're gonna get a 5 second cooldown on the ability. Again, it is hard to land at end of the telemark, but on a 5 second cooldown, we're gonna be able to spam it. Eventually, you're gonna hit it like we wanted to, so definitely cool talent. 
Uh, next one we have Unrivaled Strength. Increases Wrecking Ball's throw range by 20% and its damage by 100%. Judging by the damage values, I don't think it's a big deal, the fact that it does more damage. I think the range is the big thing here. Again, think about it. Pulling heroes into your own towers or throwing, uh, you'll see you'll get a talent that will allow you to throw your own teammates at enemies, which is a big deal. So the range, probably the big deal uh, on Unrivaled Strength. Final talent at level 1 is called Body Check and this is a separate activated ability. Activate to deal damage to target enemy and slow them by 30% for 3 seconds. This is a targeted ability. Damage is increased by 200% of armor up current bonus. So for example, let's think about it. I got a bonus of armor up right now of 20. It's gonna increase uh, by 200% so I'm gonna get an extra 40 so it's gonna be 60 overall the damage that is and the slow amount is increased by 30% if armor up is above 25 when is it above 25 when garage is lower than 50% health and then you're gonna slow them by 60% for 3 seconds this is how I'm reading this talent. Uh, very interesting, too bad it's on the same talent heal tier as Unrivaled Strength because I think the range here is gonna be a big deal. Moving on into level 4, our first option is In for the Kill. This is a talent for our W ability or our sustainability. Increases blood first damage against non-heroes by 60%. Killing enemies with blood first resets its cooldown and refunds its mana cost. So you're gonna be able to last hit minions with it, you're gonna get your sustain, you're gonna get your cooldown back and your mana as well. So in a lane if you are actually decent at last hitting using your W ability you're gonna be able to get your health back quite nicely. Keep in mind that the amount of damage you do with it is inconsequential to the actual healing. The extra damage over here by 60% so it makes it easier for you to last hit minions, get reset, get another minion last hit, reset and that's how you get your health back. I'm thinking this is gonna be an awesome sustain talent, lane sustain for the most part. Anyway, let's move on to the next option at level 4. This is first for battle, it's a passive talent. Basic attacks against heroes reduces the cooldown of blood first by 2 seconds. Another? Another one. Interesting. So let's keep in mind, once again, blood first is our W ability and this is our sustain ability, okay? This is how we get our healing. These are two talents, well, both aimed at increasing our, uh, our sustain. Basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of blood first by 2 seconds. So if we're gonna hit 5 heroes, there's ten, uh, 5 basic attacks, there's 10 seconds. But I don't know what kind of basic attack speed does he have or not. Because this could very well be something important. Again, W is a targeted ability. You're not gonna be able to miss it. Final option at level 4, it's an activated separate ability and it's called Indomitable. Activate to become unstoppable for 1.5. Are you for... <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna be uh, become unstoppable for a second and a half and you're getting this at level 4. Where is the goddamn cooldown? I wanna know. <laughs> I really wanna know. This seems terribly strong, but it's really gonna depend on what kind of cooldown it has. Definitely. Well, I guess it could've been, could've been worse. It could've been like Genji's thing or Varian's thing. So there you go. Let's move on into level 7, our first option for our Q ability, Intimidation. Groundbreaker reduces the attack speed of heroes hit by 40% for 4 seconds. Very useful against actual basic attack heroes. For example, if you hit Tracer with one of these, she's really gonna suffer, or maybe a Rainer, or an A.A. Vala, or whatever else melee. Obviously, this is gonna hurt them quite badly. 40% less attack speed for 4 seconds, that's a big deal. Keep in mind that our Q ability is AoE at the end of the day. So, we're gonna be able to mitigate some serious damage for our team like this. Next option at level 7, yet again another activated ability, so maybe Piano Garage. This one is Brute Force. Enemies hit by body check receive 50% reduced healing for 4 seconds. And you might be wondering what the hell is body check. Well, we just talked about it, I think, a second ago. What is it? Oh, here we go. Activate to deal damage to target enemy and slow them by 30% for 3 seconds. Damage is increased by 200% of armor's current bonus. And the slow amount is increased by 30% if armor ups bonus is above 25. So this is the activated talent at level 1, which we already talked about. Interesting. So this one will be dependent on this one. Very interesting. So it's not an actual, uh, s another activated ability, it's a talent for this ability. I think it's the first time we actually get talents for activated abilities. I don't remember any hero actually having this before. So it's a healing debuff, obviously. Uh, it's gonna help you single out a target much better. If you, Even if it does get healing, it's gonna be easier to kill. 
pretty cut, clear and dry. Other than the fact that again, this is the first time we get a talent for a separate activated ability that is not part of his base kit. Next talent, at level 7, it's a passive oppressor. Basic attacks against heroes reduce the the tar target spell power by 40% for 2.5 seconds. So you had the attack speed debuff and now you have the spell power debuff. This is how we will mitigate damage for our team depending on the enemy team's composition. Heavy on the AA, we're gonna go intimidation. If not, we're gonna go uh, with oppressor against spell damage dealers. Basic attacks, okay, so we're just gonna have to basic attack. This one is different, okay, this one is AOE. We're gonna be able to apply that debuff a lot easier than this multiple targets because you actually have to basic attack heroes to reduce that and for 2.5 seconds this one is for four seconds okay very interesting final talent at level seven activate another one into the fray activate to throw a nearby ally and grant them 25 armor for three seconds oh wow i didn't know about this part though deals damage to nearby enemies upon impact and slow them for by 30 percent for 2.5 seconds while in flight Allied heroes are unstoppable, so that's a pretty big deal. Not only can you fling them around like the noobs they are, but also they get armor. 25 armor, that's a big deal for 3 seconds, some damage mitigation. Garrosh actually saving his allies? What the fuck is this? This is totally wrong for Garrosh. Then again, I can throw Crazy Crow over the wall into the enemy team's space, which I'm definitely going to do. Because the troll potential on this one is fucking ginormous. Though, the way this one reads, it would be a separate ability i'm wondering if it's gonna share the cooldown with our basic ability what was it again yes wrecking ball this one has a 16 second cooldown i'm just wondering if this shares cooldown with that one if they don't it's gonna be fucking glorious and overpowered as fuck but that doesn't matter anyway we talked about heroic so let's move into level 13 first it's a talent for our ability defensive measures pulling a hero with groundbreaker grants garrosh a shield for six seconds a 350 shield so i'm guessing this amount is taken at level 13 i'm assuming i don't know i'm hoping not because <laughs> 350 is basically, it's not a lot for a tank at level 14, though keep in mind this is a talent for our Q ability which has an 8 second cooldown and it can also be buffed to have a 5 second cooldown and we're gonna keep getting shield, 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 that's awesome, that's pretty awesome. Then again, it is dependent on pulling a hero with Groundbreaker. I wonder if I pull multiple heroes, will I get 700 shield or 1050 shield? That would be interesting, it says a hero. I'm wondering if it actually has a multiplier by the number of heroes you pull or not. It's gonna be interesting, definitely. Keep in mind that that telemark for the actual pullback is rather small. Next option at level 13, this is for our W ability, Blood Craze. When hitting a hero, Blood First heals for an additional 10% of Garrosh's maximum health over 3 seconds. So, when hitting a hero, it's not gonna give us this bonus if we hit minions or mercenaries or, or whatnot. So that's worth taking into account. But basically, it's doubling the heal, the actual heal amount against heroes. Though this one is healing over time, so over 3 seconds, you're gonna get that 10% instantly, then you're gonna get practically the same amount over the next 3 seconds. That's a lot of sustain at level 13. Again, level 13 usually is the defensive tier for Blizzard. Only 3 talents here, sadly. Running out of ideas, Blizz. Anyway, final option, trait D, double up. Armor up can be activated to increase its armor bonus by 100% for 3 seconds. Give me a fucking break, are you kidding me? Yeah, but what's what's the cooldown? God damn it, we need cooldowns on this. This is sort of a, like a last stand, so think about it. Garrosh is 50% health, okay, let's go back to that. We are rocking 25 armor, doubling it to 50. That's 50% 50 less damage from all sources. Keep in mind that there is only one effect that can bypass the armor system and that is HP percentage based damage. Malfell, for example, Giant Killers is another example and so on and so forth. So it is strong, but not unbeatable. Uh, can't judge this without an actual fucking cooldown on double up. So yeah, definitely very potent ability, but it's gonna depend on the cooldown. <coughs> Level 16. First uh, option for our Q ability, Rough Landing. Heroes pulled by Groundbreaker are slowed by 50% for 3 seconds. So if you actually manage to pull somebody back uh, with your Q ability, it's gonna make it easier for you to kill them. Okay, they're not only gonna get flipped, they're also gonna get slowed by 50% for 3 seconds, giving your team ample time to run away and ignore your awesome pull. Or kill them, one of the two. Uh, next option also for our Q ability, this one is called Mortal Combo. <laughs> Alright. 
If Wrecking Ball is used on a hero within 2 seconds of being pulled with Groundbreaker, Wrecking Ball's cooldown is reduced by a whopping 10 seconds. The base cooldown is 16 seconds if I remember correctly. So you're gonna get a cooldown of 6 seconds. You got 2 seconds worth of window time after you queue them to flip them, okay? You queue them, you pull them back, and you flip them then with your E. I think we would have done that anyway. That seems like a very logical combo to do with Garrosh. Awesome picks. I'm just just think about the picks. It's bloody glorious, isn't it? So yeah, definitely a very potent talent here. And we're gonna get a for low cooldown on our E, which probably is the most exciting ability he's got so far. Anyway, final option at level 16, Earth Shatter. This is a talent for E ability Wrecking Ball. Stuns enemies near the impact area for 0.75 seconds. So this will be an AoE stun again, where the enemy that you threw land it says enemy so i'm guessing this won't help with the throwing of my teammates into their towers oh my god i cannot wait to do that anyway aoe stun for 0.75 seconds the actual duration is not that much but it will be enough to get something done no question about it awesome another very powerful talent at 16. moving on to 20 this is the final talent here Death Wish, first upgrade for our Heroic, increases the duration of Warlord's challenge by half a second. By default is 1.5, with this we're gonna get a full 2 seconds of everybody attacking us. <laughs> it sure sounds like something you don't want, doesn't it? If an enemy hero is killed while affected by Warlord's challenge, the cooldown is reduced by a whopping 45 seconds. And if I'm not mistaken, and I'm gonna check, the cooldown is 50 seconds. 5050, five, is it? Yes, it is 5-0 and it will practically you'll get a 5 second cooldown. That's a big fucking deal, is it not, boys? Awesome. Next option for our second heroic ability, Deadly Calm. Heroes hit by Decimate deal 20% less damage for 3 seconds. I think this is a trend with Garrosh, to be honest. It's not the first time we see a lot of damage mitigation by debuffing the enemy team. Awesome. Again, he's it's pretty clear he's gonna be a front line tank. I don't see that many damage options for him. And considering the spotlight, I don't think he's gonna be a reliable damage dealer. I'm looking more at him as a sort of a super frontline tank that is extremely deceptive, at least until people get to know him better, because the lower his health is, the harder he is to kill. Uh, so we're gonna have players have to restrain themselves from actually staying and hitting Garrosh when he's low. Anyway, next option at level 20, this one is Titanic Might, talent for E ability. Wrecking Ball now throws the two closest enemy. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking insane. But again, I don't think this one applies to the throwing your allies separate activated ability. So we're gonna be able to throw two guys instead of one. That sounds super awesome, but usually when you try to get picks, you try to get it on one. If you throw two, maybe your team splits and then you don't kill anything, then the enemy team jumps you and it's all over and you start flaming and silence, then alt F4 and you quit the game. But anyway, that's not important. Another awesome talent at level 20. I like talents that actually change up gameplay a little bit. And this is not necessarily the best example of it, but I'm happy with it. Titanic Might, awesome option. And finally, last option, it's an activated ability. <laughs> of course it is. Inner Rage, Body Check gains an additional charge. And its cooldown recharges 100% faster, while Armor Up's bonus is at or above 25. Uh, at or above, so if I'm 50% health or lower, at least actually 49% health or lower to be more precise. Very interesting. This... Uh, level 20 is dependent on us picking up body check at level 1 and thinking about it now when would you want to pick body check let's read it one more time because there's a lot of talents that, that, that refer to this and I'm not used to actually having talents for a fifth or sixth basic ability so it deals damage it slows them and it can deal a whole lot more damage if armor up probably body check is gonna be the only way to go to increase your damage i'm guessing if we want to build him somehow into damage we're gonna have to use this and the lower hp we are the more we're gonna deal damage interesting and the cc yeah anyway that's gonna do it for garage guys please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of him to me he smells like a pretty clear armor tank for the most part keep in mind that armor once again can be bypassed i like what they did i just hope that we can have a decent i don't want it to be perfect i just want a decent damage build when it comes to working in body check and i think again that uh if there is a damage build for him it's probably gonna revolve around body check he's got some very potent abilities and some very interesting talents at least on paper i'm gonna look forward to playing him on the ptr so join me next week on the ptr to test garrosh 
Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.